Kyle here from Mission Ready Equipment. One of the biggest gear questions I've been getting lately is why do I advocate merino wool as a base layer up against your skin? So here's what we got going on. If you look down here, I've got a couple of garments. The light tan one here in the foreground is a merino wool t-shirt from Icebreaker, 150 weight. This is what I, I wear year round. I wear it in the summer all the time. Uh, things about merino, that some bad misconceptions are that it doesn't do good in hot weather and that is not true it does very well in fact uh, the top piece up here is a typical synthetic uh, t-shirt that you see all over the place now so what I got is a laser thermometer and we're going to take a look at some temperatures and uh, you know extinguish times and things like that I'm just gonna use a simple you know uh, grill lighter to get this thing going so I'm gonna wear my head cam the one I wear for shooting and uh, let's get everything going here first off we'll do the um, do the uh, synthetic here. So just put the flame to it for like maybe five seconds or so. Let's see what happens. All right. Kind of put itself out a little bit on the ground there. All right, look how quick that thing burns. I mean, it is going big. So if we get a temperature reading on that, we're at 269 degrees right now, and it's still going. Um, still burning. You know, finally kind of kind of got put out there. Something to think about is just look at the melt all over the place. And I'll tell you right now, if I wanted to touch this, I couldn't do it. You can actually see it, it melted together right there. It's actually the garment is melted together and that is definitely still hot. So think about that on your skin. Uh, 269 degrees it was. All right, now we we'll do the same thing with Merino. And again, just try to catch it, you know. Just gonna leave the flame here for a minute and see what happens. The first thing you'll notice is that obviously merino wool doesn't flame up near as quick or as violent as a synthetic does. And I mean, I'm basically having to keep the flame on there. And it self extinguishes every time. Doesn't matter how many times I do this, you're going to get the same result. And it doesn't matter where on the garment you do it, it'll flame up. Once the flame goes away, it self extinguishes. The other cool thing about this is look at that. I can touch that right there with my fingers on it and most importantly I can peel all that away it doesn't stick together that's even the uh, seam of the t-shirt it doesn't even stick that together so uh, that's the reason that I like to use merino uh, if we want to get a temp reading on that it's gonna be kinda hard probably be about the same but you'll notice how quick this thing goes out I mean you can't Kind of, it goes out so quick we can't even get one. And again, watch the synthetic one more time. Anywhere on there you light it. Once it gets lit, it goes big even without a flame on it. Even when it's completely out. Alright, so that's it. And again, no stick with the merino. So that's why I use merino wool.